This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, so geo-replication is it almost all similar to always on we have discussed like previously. So we have configured actually like uh, just uh, we'll go through once again very fastly. So see here like uh, this is my for example uh, uh, replica one okay which is my primary server. Uh, here see we can uh, go with geo-replication. Now see it is asking that uh, currently we have deployed in South India. Okay, so now it is asking to select the secondaries here. Secondaries. In which region you want to maintain the secondary database? Uh, means from secondary we have seen reading is allowed. Uh, from primary uh, we have both read rights. Okay, so let's say we'll say here early West India. I'm saying same things here. Secondary type readable is it server name? Replication to MC. Okay. Okay. Uh, check it like uh, first initializing is happening, then it will see the database as it is copy in that region. Uh, West India have selected. See here, uh, then it will be ready for read only workloads. Read only workloads. Geo replication. Then so we can configure say like a failure group also we can configure like a listener we have configured right so in always on similar to like that failure group also we can configure so that through that group the connection is made okay instead of primary secondary separate names we can group the Yeah, we can provide the listener name so that applications can start connecting through the listener name. We have discussed here like adding database to failure group. Failure group read rate listener we have to define. Uh, and we have to access like this through the applications. Failure group name dot database dot windows dot net. Uh, for primary, then sir failure group read only listener a DNS uh, uh, name record form as failure group name dot series font allow read only. Always this one will point to the re secondary replica. Okay, so automatically depends on currently which is secondary. Right, available it is saying here, readable. We'll get uh, there also same copy of database.
yeah just uh, will connect this database This is our primary replica database here. Same way, this is our secondary replica. So, here also just will add the firewall. Right, table is ready. Okay, so now we can see here also same table. See here, same table is in secondary replica. Okay, the same record is it. So similar to always on immediate sync is it. Then uh, now what we can do, we can configure the listener, we can configure C. Okay. See, uh, we have seen that one too many and uh, other uh, other secondary replicas also can be added. Uh, check here like configure listener, uh, failure group name actually to automatically fail over database in it. This is a primary replica currently it is seen. Okay, so secondary server. So secondary server is there already, we know that this is REPL22. So failure group name. So for example, let's say uh, failure group one I am seeing. 
de... Okay, third group name. Uh, read write policies here. Automatic is it and uh, read write uh, grace period. So read write grace period is it see, by default one hour is it. So uh, then summary it is showing number of new standalone databases one number of new elastic pool zero. Uh, it is showing create. So once it is deployment is done successfully, uh, then uh, it will show you here failure policy. It will show you here. So after that, see, like we can use that name uh, for connecting purpose. Applications can connect through this name. Yeah, ready it is. Hmm. Uh, see, like it is showing here REPL1, REPL2, sales, sales, it is saying SQL Server databases. If we go back to here. Geo replication. Mm, check here, it is showing uh, SQL FG1, SQL failure group 1 I have mentioned, automatic failure is it, uh, delay maybe 1 hour it is showing, uh, it's immediate sync is there generally. Uh, now, say like uh, uh, if I, we can connect through this uh, names here, SQL FG1. See, yeah, now uh, we can see that uh, connection was done successfully. Uh, if you see here, now see REPL11, right? First server is acting as a primary replica, it is showing here. Okay, so first server REPL11, and uh, we can connect. To the secondary server also we have seen like a failure group name dot secondary dot data same thing see. failure group name dot secondary dot database dot windows dot net login name procedure now if i check here which is the second DC? REPL two to it is showing secondary currently, right? Suppose if I we can do failover, we have seen force failover is it? We can go to secondary, we can say failover, which becomes what primary. Failure started here. Still, it is showing secondary. So, once failure success, then it will show you REPL11 as a secondary replica. But uh, here, see, 
still it is primary failure is going on Yeah, then it is saying see. Uh, now see like uh, Still, it is saying REPL2 to a secondary one one. Payload was not done. Request submitted for failure, it is seen. It like force failure is it means if you want to stop we can stop replication it means we can remove yes same thing should perform submitted it is saying request Maybe I think it is taking time. Still see first one is primary, sec this is secondary. Maybe taking time. So uh, once the failure is done, uh, users can continue their works here through this uh, group name, failure group name, means connectivity they will continue, no need to change anything in the connection string. Okay, so still reports uh, can be generated by using like this here with this connection, sqlefg one dot secondary. Okay. So, uh, REPL11, REPL22, we have taken two instances. So, REPL11 will become secondary. So, it will access the data from that database automatically. Okay. I forget charger in the office yesterday. Okay, so uh, see that like uh, replication, how we are configuring replication. So, how we can do failure, uh, how we can add here multiple secondaries, we can add multiple secondaries, and how we are configuring the listener. listener. Okay, so this failure may be taking time, I think, but. Still, it is saying first one is primary replica.
let's say if I want to remove replications here, stop replication. Okay, let's see, but okay. So we'll see actually it should start failure process immediately. Yeah, we'll see that okay again. Next we'll go to the next concept. It's not our mistake. 